The term boy wonder comes to mind when James Collop's name is mentioned. Enrolled at 15 at the University of Toronto, Collop possessed a doctorate in biochemistry at the age of 24. None of Collop's professors had the least doubt that he was destined for great things. Yet his first contribution was more a matter of timing than genius. Collop was on leave as a lecturer at the University of Alberta when he was drawn into the insulin project of Banting and Best during that fateful summer of 1922. Though exceedingly humble about his contributions to the project, his efforts enabled a purified form of insulin to become quickly available in mass production to the millions who suffered from diabetes. Dr. J.R.R. McLeod, who took partial credit for the great discovery, shared his half of the Nobel Prize with Collop, who returned to the University of Alberta with a newfound passion for medicine. After receiving his MD, Collop succeeded in isolating parathormone, the active principle from the parathyroid gland. Shortly thereafter, he moved to the chair of biochemistry at McGill, where his successful research turned to other hormones. By 1941, his efforts had succeeded in the establishment of McGill's Institute of Endocrinology. Besides building the institute and its reputation, his own work in pituitary hormones succeeded in the isolation of ATCH. Collop was invited to become Dean of Medicine at the University of Western Ontario in 1947, and during his 14-year tenure, the university's medical school attained international importance as one of the world's vital centers of medical education.